Tensai Shitara Slime Data Ken Chapter 143 Black Corps After compiling the military formation, I went to Benamaru's room to give him the military organization chart that I had completed the day before. Although I hold the ultimate command, in terms of strategy, as well as military talent, I can't compare to Benamaru, so all operations of dispatching, commanding, I leave him to take care of. I only intervene when necessary. For example, appointing someone to the rank of general and making the final judgment as the war progresses, or there are complicated developments that Benamaru cannot handle. I gave the map to Benamaru. Gobuda, you let that guy be the general? Not unexpected, huh? I myself also agree that letting that idiot be responsible for thousands of lives is also a headache. But I know that, in order to protect this country, Gobuda had to train himself very hard. Although I don't show it on the surface, I have a lot of faith in my teammates. It is going to be alright? I believe in his potential. Oh well, if you said so. Benamaru nodded, seemingly convinced. Gabiru is not mentioned. It is true that he can be a bit over the top at times. But Gabiru does have the qualities of a general, even forcing him to fight with just one soldier shouldn't be a problem. Gabiru is considerate and cares about his subordinates. Although planning battles is not Gabiru's forte, in return, he seizes the opportunity very well. About Gerudo needless to say, a true general. I have arranged guard posts scattered in various locations in case the empire moves. The food issue as well as the stationing point were also solved together by Benamaru and Gerudo. And other miscellaneous matters I left to Benamaru to handle as well. Huh? Why not give him a hand? I don't know what you are talking about. A fuzzy chick, like me shouldn't interfere, I think. And then the next location, Ramirez's workshop. To see how far the magic puppets are going. I don't know if they have their own souls. Once they are completed before the upcoming battle. If they can operate on their own, the same goes for 1,000 individuals with rank of strength entering the battle. And even if they can't act independently, they don't know pain, don't fear. Become a nightmare on the battlefield. When it's necessary, with a simple command, I'll turn them into a bomb, self-destructing on the enemy. Teleporting through space. I appeared instantly in Veldora's huge room. As usual, I pushed open the large door and entered, didn't see Veldora in his residence, must have gone with Ramirez. Probably joined her silly experiments. Looks like those two are trying to integrate the core into the puppets I gave them. Bester was taking notes, Dino seemed to help him somewhat. Even though the line between work and play was thin as a paper. He had insisted before that he didn't want to work, but that doesn't seem to be the case now. In the room except for the four permanent members, there was one more guest, Dryad, Trainee San. Look who's coming, Rimuru Sama long time no see. As usual gorgeously gorgeous. Trainee San. It's been quite a while. I thank you for your help in participating in the management of this labyrinth. Don't be so polite, you gave us a place to live and as Ramirez Sama's subordinate. It's only a small matter. No, no, having her is a big help. Please support me in the future. I express my gratitude. What the hell is she doing here? As expected, the soul could not reside inside the magic puppet. So some ideas flashed, I could activate them by connecting them to Beretta, but that would be quite troublesome. And then I thought that the Dryad and Trent nature close to the spirit state combined with the technical information from Sarian's side, was like possessing a homunculus. That's why they invited Trainee to experiment. So that is. It was difficult to move without a body, with Dryad it was a little easier but Trent was different. Dryads are basically stronger than evil demons, as they are higher in the ranks of a rank monsters. However, mana leakage still occurred when they didn't have their own bodies. So when they break away from their true selves, in this case trees, they can't use their full strength. If we let them, Dryad and Trent take possession of the golems. Then moving would not be difficult. Moreover, with a combat strength comparable to a rank, the Triants will show their full strength in close combat. While with the Dryads they can fight from a distance. Truly a great idea. After that, the experiment went smoothly. They were perfectly compatible, dozens of Dryads and hundreds of Triants all getting their new bodies. The conversion is complete. Trainee San's role is to watch the transformation take place and then change their form to be as good as possible. It seems that Trainee San is supporting her sisters. 
The Dryad as well as the Trent have many female and male models to choose from. Even though they were genderless, like Trent, they didn't care much about their looks. But the Dryad sisters were different. If it's about aesthetics and beauty, it's my turn to act. Initially, it was difficult to correct the appearance without touching the skeleton structure inside. And there were dozens of dryads so I had to change the skeleton for each of them while they conveyed their desire for appearance through ThoughtLink. Then I adjusted the flow of magic and finished arranging the body's muscle tissue, it was perfect. Furthermore, I refined the skeleton with pure gold and made it oracalcum. With this, the owners of such bodies can adjust their appearance if necessary later on. In this world, gold is a versatile material, so its applicability to magic is very high. Although it couldn't be mass-produced due to gold being a rare metal, mixing it with another material like magic steel shouldn't be a problem. Thank you very much Rimaru-sama. In the bubble form, I responded to trainee by moving and swaying my round, waterlogged body. Actually, no big deal. I also thank her for being here. You guys take care of the rest, I'll go, but hey Ramirez. Remember to let me know when any souls take over the golem. Sure, I'll fly to tell you then. I returned to my room, although I really wanted to participate in the research. But there was still a lot of work I needed to get done. In another world or sometimes called hell, a defiant demon is wreaking havoc here. In the world full of wandering souls, the weak have long fled, and the strong gather together to fight this demon. But to him, opponents disappeared like smoke one after another, such useless people were not even worthy of his eyes. So on his way, he calmly trampled on countless opponents. Demons are also a form of spirit, so even if their body is destroyed, then in this hell, they will slowly recover and reappear. Perhaps for this reason, the devil did not hold back, but fully trampled on those who dared to face it. That devil is the embodiment of violence and evil. Kufufufu. Even if all the flies and mosquitoes were gathered, it wouldn't be able to touch my fingernails. Seems like a long time ago, there were some guys capable of assassinating me. Should we visit them a bit? Leaving behind those mysterious words, the demon with red hair teleported away. What remained on the ground of this gloomy world were the scattered parts of the demons of defeat. In my room, I checked the progress of the monitoring system. Intelligence officers were stationed in the key places of the great Jurassic Forest, from the shores to the tops of the high mountains. Even then, I'm still not satisfied with the information I've gathered. To be more precise, if a battle were to take place, I'm afraid the system wouldn't be very effective. Then, I set about making a magic surveillance system. Spell sequences can be included to aid the observation process. However, its availability is lower than I thought. It was only able to see the shape of the object, and was only able to track from a single non-visual angle. So in order to track from another angle it was necessary to activate the chain of magic again. It also couldn't be used to track large fish such as the demon lord. Of course because it was prevented by the magical barrier. Of course, I had an idea. For example the physical magic, Megiddo. It is a magic that captures sunlight by means of water droplets floating in the air and converts it into pure energy. I can augment the water drops at various locations in the air and then copy the images reflected in them and transfer it to the display. This means that I have created a satellite monitoring system of my own, which is more advanced than the one that existed in my old world. According to Raphael, it can combine physical magic, soul magic, and spatial manipulation. I tweaked a few things and Raphael finished it. Once this system is in place, information gathering will be easier than ever. And the amount of information we collect will be enormous, then the enemy's actions will be in the palm of my hand. Since I spread my forces to many different positions and was overwhelmed by the huge number of enemy troops, our chances of victory were small. So the understanding of the enemy's situation, number and direction of movement, and if the Empire dispersed their armies, defeating them on individual fronts would be very promising. Hence the completion of this spell is paramount. Not only must win but must win big, completely trample the enemy. I introduced new improvements and asked Raphael to make it as easy to use and maximize efficiency in a given space. Huh? Why can't I do it myself? Don't be so silly. Wisdom King Raphael is my skill, it can be said that I am not wrong on my own, no excuses. Maybe I've been working too hard these days. 
After a few minutes, finally done, take a break. And the spy magic system began to be put into use. I called for the maid who was standing to prepare tea in the next room. Shuna is someone who usually does these things, but when she's busy, this maid takes her place. Although these maids were evolved from old goblins to goberinas, her appearance did not differ much from that of a human. Recently, the trend of light makeup has become fashionable in this place and of course they have become more beautiful than before. She came with a tray of tea in her hand, and then after serving me tea, tea of course. She stooped and said Diablo Sama has returned, and he requested an audience, what should we tell him? I told him to come in. After bowing to me, she left. She seems to be quite nervous in front of me. Usually Diablo and other commanders without an appointment could also enter. But their surroundings prevented them from doing so. Diablo walked over and smiled. I didn't know what he was going to say, but I could clearly see the sly smile on his face. To others. That smile clearly portends bad luck. It feels like that guy has done something evil, I can see a dark atmosphere enveloping Diablo. Rimuru Sama the god has returned. Today I bring a group of people who want to see you. If he agreed, nothing would make them happier. Diablo paid my respects as usual. Since being summoned by me, this guy decided that I was his sole master and served me like a god. It seems that before, Diablo mentioned going to gather some of his followers, maybe. Are you satisfied with those names? Yes. Even though it's only ten people. I am deeply sorry and deeply ashamed, for my weakness for not being able to raise an army for him. Well, no problem, don't worry about that. Come on, let's meet them. Oh, thank you sir. Let's go, I told them to wait outside. That guy really wants to form an army? I strode behind Diablo with a secret thought in my mind, he was terrifying. Where he was going? This was already on the outskirts of Tempest. Kufufufu. Even though they could penetrate the barrier, it wouldn't be good if they weren't careful enough to break it. I see that. But are the people he brought in with that kind of ability? Before that, by consulting Leon's country, I had built a defense system that could distinguish between myself and the enemy. An enormous energy barrier enveloped the entire city, active day and night. To be able to break it, unless it was a high-level existence surpassing a rank A monster. Furthermore, if it is broken, it will be immediately repaired by the guard. The A rank monsters that didn't have the intelligence nearby were of course unable to compete with Tempest's military power. But through without destroying the barrier, these demons must be in the ruling class. Really, Diablo didn't know where to find these guys. I allow you to manifest. Summon. Diablo ordered. Ten demons appeared out of nowhere. Hey, one of them is pretty strong too, and three of the high demons. Even in high level demon summoning, it was nearly impossible to summon a high demon. If humans were to summon them, at least a national scale ritual would have any hope. Not to mention the number of souls needed to compensate for that ritual, it's impossible. And appearing here there are three names. It seems that when Diablo was summoned by me, he was originally just a high demon. These guys must be Diablo's acquaintances as well. The remaining seven are great demons, one level lower than the other three, and all have good aura. These guys were once God's comrades. Since they cried and swore that they wanted to be useful to Rimuru-sama, I allowed them to join. Diablo laughed as he explained. It's true that their crying is real but it's about being useful to me that needs to be revisited. However, they still see many bruises on their bodies. They seem to want to say something, but no one spoke. It seems Diablo gave them some training and taught them manners before meeting me. We are your loyal servants, Rimuru-sama. Please give orders. They both bowed down and swore allegiance to me. Diablo nodded, he seemed satisfied with what he was witnessing. Glad to have him as an ally, really. What a scary name. Now we have 10 new teammates because they are demons, another form of soul. Or rather a mass of spiritual energy that forms and they need their physical body. And then, I remembered what Trainee San said before. Let them possess the golem's body, isn't it? Thinking that, I immediately proceed. Before that, I sucked them into my body with the voracious King Beelzebuth and stored them in my stomach. Together with Diablo, I teleported to Ramirez's workshop. I explained the situation to Ramirez and let them merge with the golems that were still in the cocoon. The result was perfect, the demons were now bathed in pure energy. When they wake up, 
They will have their perfect body, by which time they will become a little more useful. And of course I'll name them as well, otherwise it would be quite inconvenient. When looking at the amount of mana needed, I have to be careful. Doesn't become blisters again, so I set a limit for one day of use. First, the three demons who fought side by side with Diablo. The three high demons. Each of them received two demons to support, like a follower. The rest of the demons are lost. According to Diablo, that guy was like a maggot clinging to the bone. Whenever he stood up to challenge, he was immediately trampled by Diablo. Then, Testerosa, Ultima, Carrera, the three high demons completed their incarnation. Their evolution occurred instantaneously, and out of the cocoon emerged three demon dukes. All three are female, including a beautiful female demon. When I named her Testerosa, the evolution and cocoon breaking happened instantly, which surprised me quite a bit. The power of the three girls is so enormous and their combat power is beyond common knowledge. Really, they're stronger than the former demon lord. Dino groaned but Veldora and Ramirez didn't react, if it's Rimuru then it's normal. Bester mutters in the corner of the room. I don't see anything, haha. I don't know, everything has nothing to do with me. And repeating the inaudible words, he scratched his head. I act like I don't see it. Next are the high-class demons. Venom, Veyron, Moss, Sian, Zonda, Agera, Esprit. After that, they all completed their evolution and broke out of the cocoon to become powerful high demons. It seems that I have obtained a terrorist force. But it does not stop there. Rimuru-sama, they don't know how to express their gratitude and excitement when they have been given their strength and name by you. Please allow me to show them allegiance in the future. But there is a request, these guys also have their own subordinates. If you will, please let them use these puppets. I don't know how many Diablo needs, but I accept his request. Those subordinates are all lower demons, after having new bodies, they will definitely become great demons. I used up too much mana today. So it's impossible to name them, that's okay. Hundreds of high-ranked demons with strength surpassing rank A if each individual is stronger than average or the strongest, when evolving. The individual will be stronger than those of the same rank, so the upper devil also has a strong name and a weak name. But none of these guys are weak, they're all elite. Especially the leaders. Brought back by Diablo, there was no need to argue. I thought to myself, these seven guys seem to have 100 followers. So 700 high-ranking demons are about to be born, they all have new bodies, new powers. What a force of worldly terror. As expected, demons born by this method are much stronger than summoned. With numbers like this, it looks like I'm causing trouble again. Let's just pretend to be stupid, let Diablo take the responsibility. I sat next to Bester and watched the process unfold, surreptitiously abdicating responsibility. Thus, a fearsome army was born. Black Core. Category. Demon. Quantity 700 Great Demons. Grade A+. 7 Upper Devil. 3 Demon Dukes. Dominate Diablo. With the lowest number of troops in the military force of Tempest the embodiment of fear. The strongest army, the Black Legion was born. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Please support me one subscription.